And we've seen very little monsoon activity this week here in southern Arizona, but but there's a chance today You're saying there's a chance, it's not a great chance, but it's not a 0% chance. We take you outside live look from the south side over at 22nd and Park, courtesy of Simply Bits. We're in the upper 70s to low 80s across Metro Tucson this morning. It's 81 in Marana, 79 at the airport, and 80 at the rooftop here at KVOA. Lo and behold, a few sprinkles, light showers out there this morning, trying to lift up to the northwest very quickly, mind you, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Maybe seeing a little bit of light rain right now on the southeast side of the metro. Little, if any, measurable rainfall anticipated over the next hour, and this activity should be falling apart here as we head toward the 7, 8 o'clock hour. So what has changed with the forecast versus is what we were advertising yesterday. Well, for starters, we had a big complex of storms in Sonora last night and a leftover mid-level disturbance due south of Nogales. And you couple that with a surge of moisture arriving earlier than we anticipated, and that puts us back in the game for isolated storm chances for Metro Tucson. Albeit a 10% chance of thunder, prime time, 4 to 8 p.m. Favored areas for isolated storm development today south of Tucson along the international border. Once we get beyond about 8, 9 o'clock tonight, activity should begin to wind down. We are getting some model agreement regarding this weekend, both the European GFS model hinting at a decent chance of scattered thunderstorms starting up on Saturday. Thanks to dew points heading toward the mid 60s, maybe the most active day for the monsoon for the holiday weekend will be on Sunday with a 40% chance of Metro Thunder daytime highs coming down from the 100s today to the mid 90s for much of next week. And again, those scattered storm chances returning Saturday. 30% chance of Metro Thunder, so pack the umbrella and the rain gear if you're heading to the U of A football game. Tailgate could be a soggy affair. Can't rule out some scattered storms. Those storms becoming more missed than hit as you head back to work in school on Tuesday.